वेलकम फ्रेंड अगेन वी हैव टू डिस्कस द सेवरल वेरिएबल कैलकुलस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द फंक्शन एंड वी डिफाइन इट बाय एप्सलॉन डेल्टा डेफिनेशन आल्सो एंड वी टेक सम एग्जांपल ऑन दिस now we have to discuss the continuity of the function but we have to take a composite function here so uh, today's our topic is continuity of composite function continuity of a composite function so first we write the definition let f be a uh, real valued real valued function of two variable defined in the domain d and g b a g b a one variable real valued function defined function defined on the range of f so what we take f is real valued f is a function two variable function defined on the domain d and g is a one variable function and it is defined on the range of f on the range of n also f is continuous at ab in d and g is continuous at f of ab then the composite function composite function g o f of x y g o f of x y it is nothing but upper g of f of x y is equal to what it is equal to what it is equal to h of xy is continuous continuous at ab what we see if f is continuous at ab g is continuous at f at f of ab then we can say that g o f of x y that is g of f of x y that is h of x y that is composite function is continuous at a b okay so we will take one example on this where the function f of, or we can say that h of x y is equal to arc tan y upon x is continuous so our first question is where the function h of x y is equal to arc tan of y upon x is continuous arc arc tan means tan inverse is it we can write it in by tan inverse also so what what is the solution so we use this definition composite function so what we take here let f of xy is equal to y upon x and g of t where t g of t is equal to what arc tan t where t is a real number okay then what we can write then the composite function composite function 
G O F is. So what we can find? G O F of X Y. It is equal to what? G of F of X Y. Is it? So what we can write here? G of F of X Y means what? It is equal to G of Y upon X. And it should be what? It should be G of that arc of tan t is me what our t is y upon x and this is nothing but our h of x y so therefore what we can say h of x y is a composite function of g and f so what we now check where the function f is continuous and where the g is continuous so what we can say the function the function f of x y is equal to what y upon x is a what it is with which uh, which uh, function it is it is a rational function rational function therefore what it is it is rational function therefore it is continuous everywhere except except on the line x is equal to 0 that means what we say that is this function is continuous in the domain and domain is the set where the function is defined this function is not defined for x is equal to 0 therefore it is discontinuous or we can say that it is continuous everywhere except on the line x is equal to 0 also what we can say also g of t is equal to arc tan t is trigonometric function function is continuous is continuous everywhere on the on R we can say therefore what we can say therefore the function composite function composite function h of x y is continuous except except where x is equal to 0 except where x is equal to 0 ok so we prove this example using the composite continuity of a composite function okay so now we we will go for the continuity of the three variable function continuity of the three variable function in the previous lecture already we discussed the continuity of the two variable function similarly just we have to convert it into the continuity of the three variable so what so we are writing in short only so our next topic is continuity of three variable variable function continuity of a three variable function so how we prove that again when we say that f is defined suppose f is a function def of a three variable function and it is defined it is defined on the domain d so f is three variable three variable function and uh, defined defined on d subset of r cube then what we say that then we say that f is f is continuous at a b c belongs to r cube if 
what, when it is possible when it is possible f limit x y z tends to a b c f of x y z it is equal to what f of a b c same definition is there then well, how we write the precise definition how we write the epsilon delta definition that is for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists a delta greater than 0 so, such that such that what all a b c or we can say that all x y z is in domain d and and what square uh, square root of x minus a square plus y minus b square plus z minus c square is less than delta then then what we can say that then mod of f of x y z minus f of a b c f of a b c this distance may be must be less than epsilon so same definition just we have to convert it is into the three variable okay so what it means again what is the meaning again already we discussed the geometric meaning of the two variable function similar here also what it means if you uh, that is if the what we can say that this what is this distance that is if you make this distance if you make the distance between the point x y z and a b c very small then then what we can get the distance between the point f of x y z and f of a b c is also very small okay smaller that is smaller the distance between these two point then we get the smaller the distance between the smaller the distance between the f of a x y z and f of a b c okay so we will take some example on this example discuss the continuity continuity of the function f of x y z is equal to what it is equal to 1 upon 1 upon x square plus y square plus z square minus 1 so we have to check the or discuss the continuity of the function so given function is what we have we have f of x y z it is equal to 1 upon x square plus y square plus z square minus 1 is what is a rational function it is again a rational function then what we can say that it is rational function therefore it is continuous where the function is defined therefore therefore what we can say that hence the function f e f of x y z is continuous is continuous the function f of x y z is continuous in the domain domain of f domain of f therefore what we can say that the function is discontinuous continuous where where x square plus y square plus z square minus 1 is equal to 0 that is where denominator is 0 this function is not defined therefore it is discontinuous that is what we can say that that is the function f is discontinuous on the sphere on the sphere x square plus y square plus z square minus or it is equal to 1 therefore what we can say that the function f is continuous continuous in r cube except except on the sphere 
x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1. Okay, so very simple example. So up to this we discussed the continuity, continuity of the function, composite function, continuity of the three variable function. Similarly, you can discuss the continuity of a composite function. Then con continuity of the four variable, five variable, seven variable, six variables. That is all these points you can discuss for the discuss for the n variables function. Okay. So just we write the general form of the general form or we write just the vector form of the continuity. Vector form of the continuity. So how we write the vector form? So vector form of continuity. So what we can take? Suppose f is any function defined on D subset of R raised to N and suppose we are we have a any vector x and a vector x and a in a d then what we can write we have to write the definition limit x vector x tends to vector a f of x vector it is equal to what f of a therefore what we can say therefore that is what we can write the precise definition for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists delta greater than 0 such a that such a that what x bar it is in D and uh, what we can write mod of x minus x bar minus a bar that is the dis vector distance is less than delta then mod of f of x bar minus f of a bar is less than epsilon ok so if you take take n is equal to 1 then what we are getting n is equal to 1 then vector x is equal to a and vector a is equal to a and then we get a one variable one variable function continuity if you take n is equal to 2 then x is equal to what we are sorry here we have you, here must be x so what we are getting it is x1 x2 or we and here a bar vector a is equal to a1 a2 and we get the continuity of a two variable function similarly n is equal to 3 then we can write here it is x1 x2 or x3 or you can write this is x1 x2 and x3 close open bracket you can write and this is a it is nothing but our a1 a2 a3 and then we get a three variable definition of a continuity similarly you can uh, write n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the vector form of the continuity so in this chapter we see the definition of limit and continuity and we solve the some problem. So thank you very much.